Hey, Don's fans. I'm here with the men's basketball coaching staff. I've got head coach Todd Golden, associate head coach Kevin Hubdy, and assistant coach Vinny McGee. So guys, The Athletic wrote this wonderful story about a new movement you created called the Coaches Coalition for Progress, addressing the inequalities facing many inner cities. Todd, just tell me a little bit about how it began. Honestly, it was something that uh was derived by a conversation that, that Vinny and I had. And, you know, when uh, his fiance, Bree, and, and my wife, Megan, we were all visiting and, and catching up over the long weekend and uh, really just wanted to kind of shoot ideas off each other in ways that we could uh, create tangible progress. Just getting Vinny's perspective and seeing, you know, what the different things that he experienced growing up. Uh, and then, you know, from my perspective as a head coach, you know, what I could do uh, more than just, kind of keep our side of the street clean and be able to reach out and and be supportive and help others uh when when they need it most so we, we just started talking and kind of really thought about kind of giving back to to younger inner city kids uh kids that haven't had the same experience as a lot of other people and then trying to provide you know tangible resources both academically and athletically for them uh to help them out and then all all encompassing and, and really there's a couple of different uh ways that this mission will go but we also want to create and build relationships between our players and, and our, our teams and, and community officials, whether that be public safety on campus or law enforcement in the community. But uh, there's a, been a lot of uncomfortable times and uh, we, we just want to unite people and bring people together. Yeah, I think that's great. And Vinny, you know, you growing up in West Oakland, you said, you know, a safe space uh, for you was the Boys and Girls Club. But now with this coalition, how impactful would this be? Every day in West Oakland, back in the days where it was like, you know, walking down the street or whatever, um, you know, obviously you'll get targeted. You know, are, are you are you a guy out there selling drugs? Are you a kid out there, you know, that's 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 in a gang or doing something like that when really you're just a kid that was going to school, that you're you're playing sports, you know, it was just a different experience. And uh, you know, I think that, you know, having um some something like like our coalition or something like this is gonna help out um a lot of a lot of youth uh with bridging that gap between um you know law enforcement and um and and, and athletics and just bringing it all all together yeah and you know kevin you grew up in pennsylvania what was your experience like on the east coast and why is this such a passion project for you yeah i think when todd and Vinny came to me with this idea and kind of said hey would you want to help try to build this up with us it was something that i was passionate about um you know really my uh my fifth year as a student athlete at richmond i worked towards a master's in liberal arts and my focus was how sport has influenced the western world so I kind of spent the year studying, um, you know, athletes and coaches that have used their platforms to help create progress and change. Um, and this is really what we're trying to do here is to try to unify coaches um, under this, this concept of trying to foster community relationships with your team and in the community. Um, and it's just something that I'm really excited to be a part of. Yeah. And, you know, Todd, tell us how you got this assembly of the five coaches together to create this coalition. Yeah, well, we started with our staff, um, obviously, Vinny and I and Kevin and then Jonathan Sapphire has actually done a wonderful job, you know, helping us get it off the ground. And then we really just reached out to, you know, people that we knew that would be united in this cause. And Carlin Hartman is a gentleman that's an assistant coach at Oklahoma. Kevin and I worked with him uh, when we were at Columbia. And he's a guy that, that we both look up to quite a bit. He's really experienced and uh, just a just a really good man. And we knew that he'd be passionate. He has a loud voice. He has a, a wide platform and, and he's able to reach a lot of people. And, you know, getting someone like him on board w was huge. And then reach out to my best friend from growing up, the best man of my wedding, AJ Cooper, who's now a defensive line coach at Washington State on the football side. And I thought he was important. He's a, a biracial guy, half white, half black, and, and he's in the football space. So he's able to kind of get another vertical for us in terms of reaching more people we're all in it to unite people and bring people together. And I think that's the most important thing. And in this time, you, there's a lot of divisiveness. And I think we can all agree on that. And, and, you know, at times people are challenged to pick a side or, you know, make, you know, a declaration as to where you stand. And, and what we want to stand on is providing these resources and really building people up. And I think if everybody can get behind that, no matter what side of the aisle you're on. So if we can come together and support and, uh, you know, grow our membership to where we're able to, you know, bring in different people from different parts of the country and, and different sports and, and different races, different uh, men, women, 
everybody coming together, then I think we're going to get somewhere. And again, if we're able to just create a little bit of incremental progress, then we've made progress from where we were before. Kevin, what are some of the action points that we're going to help at the youth level? Yeah, so part of the uh, pledge as a coach when you join the coalition is this community service aspect. And I think a lot of us, especially at, at our level in college athletics, are already doing some sort of community service with their teams. So now it's about um, basically fostering these community relationships as part of your community service commitment. So what we really want to do is make sure that we get our team um, out into the community, into whatever that might be, underserved areas, community centers, what have you, and um, make sure that we're uh, using our platform as our team and as coaches to help um, young kids basically uh, to create conversation between them and, and community officials as well as part of our community service each year. Yeah, and you know, Vinny, Todd had told me before that there is this really great idea about bringing your college athletes together with the community. And I know that one of your best friends is an officer. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? My best friend, Demario Sims, um, he is he's actually a sheriff um, in Santa Clara County. And um, when when me and Todd were talking about it, he was like, Man, I would love for uh, Demario, we call him Memo. He's like, I'd love for him to, to come and just talk to the guys. And, you know, once we start talking, I was like, man, he would he would definitely love to do that because um, it would it would just give our guys um, something to look at to where it's, you know, right now out there with all these protests and everything that's going on, people see cops and not all cops are bad cops. So for them to have a guy like my best friend come in and talk to them and, and give them um, his background and his story and really the reason why he got into becoming a cop is for change at the end of the day. He grew up in West Oakland with me. Most of his family, you know, they, they come from a, a bad background, felons and all that different stuff. And he wanted to make a change. So that was the reason why he got into uh, the, the justice system and, and, and becoming a cop in the first place. So to hear a guy like that come and talk to our guys and give them that knowledge, come from a background that most of them come from, um, I think that's just a big thing. And I think that it would give them a different output and a different look um, at uh, uh, at law enforcement and, and, and what's really going on out there. Kind of building off of what Vinny said, you know, we want to we want to build these relationships. And, and again, a lot of discomfort in, in every aspect of life is is formed by the unknown. Right. And just not really being uh, educated or not necessarily being in a situation where you can kind of get comfortable. And, and our hope is if we can bring law enforcement, community officials, even public safety on campuses to come meet with our players in low leverage situations where everybody's comfortable and in, in a place where, uh, you know, it doesn't, they don't feel like they're up against something, then they'll be able to have real dialogue. And I think they'll be able to look at each other in a much different light. And I think that's something that will help build up that confidence within our players, um, within, you know, especially the minority players on our team who haven't had great experiences or any experiences in terms of having dialogue with, with police officers. There are people like Memo who are out on the streets protecting us and putting their lives on the line to make sure that everybody's free. And, uh, you know, if we can, again, continue to, to build that out and, and create that comfort level, then we're creating that dialogue, which I think is the first step to the progress and to the change. Yeah, that's great. And then, you know, this is kind of a call to action for, for these coaches. Um, you know, just explain a little bit more how they get involved. I know you have a low cost membership fee and you've already raised more than 15 grand. So can you just talk a little bit about that? From a coach's perspective, and, and we're, we're going to add elements to this coalition where people who aren't coaches can join as well through more of a sponsor slash donor perspective. But really, you know, these coaches, uh, they can visit our website, visit our Twitter reach out to our email address uh, and we're live now and then we will give them information. Hey, basically if you're going to sign up and it's a $50 membership for coaches, if you're going to sign up, we are expecting you to take on these initiatives within your team and within your community. And if we expect them to do those things, to do their part and, and uh, you know, obviously we're not going to be able to police everybody in every part of uh, the coalition, but that's just the expectation. We think there's enough good people that will jump in two feet and, and want to be a part of that. So uh, again, we're still building it out and we're still getting this thing off the ground, but we're getting some great 
feedback, a lot of people who want to be a part of it. And uh, just in our first week of trying to build this thing, it, it's going really, really well. Awesome. And then, Kevin, just your thoughts on the positive change that you'd love to see. Yeah, I, again, to reiterate what Todd said, I think really for us, the, the platform that we have as coaches is, is so powerful. And as Todd mentioned, um, this is really a two-part part initiative as being a part of this coalition. It's one within your own team and how can you uh, build trust between your team and uh, police officers and really all types of community officials. And then the community service aspect, which I think could be great just for, for youth um, to use our team to kind of bridge the gap between youth and, and community officials as well, I think is a really, really powerful thing. And again, just can't emphasize enough how excited I am to be a part of it. I think it, it really, really um, is, could be, it, it is a great thing. And it really, really could do a lot to create progress. Everything that, that, that we've talked about here today, um, I just feel like it's, we're making those steps in the right direction. Just getting this word out is, 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 is creating change. And if we just continue to keep on doing that, then we'll see a lot, we'll, we'll, we'll see a lot of progress uh, down the road. And like I said, for our guys, for, for, for the community, for um, you know, our staff, every, everywhere, um, our university, I think it, it would be a lot of change and a lot of progress in the right direction.